Okay, so I wanted to make a quick video of this um, little screen that I've bought off eBay. It's an, um, an OLED spectrum analyzer and a DB, DB level um, meter. Um, so, yeah, it was about, oh, I think I paid about £30 for this, including postage. And it is, it's got written on it, it is an, an AK2132 OLED display. And um, it's a nice construction. Um, it's made of two boards, um, which are joined to get together here. And the nice thing about that is you could actually detach the front board from the back board if you wanted to, and then rub a, rub a ribbon cable. So if you wanted to, you could have this screen, say, at the front of a box like that, and then you could have this control panel at the back of the box somewhere where you've got your uh, micro USB connector. And the way that works is interesting. It comes with this um, breakout cable, which has got micro USB on one end of it, and then it's got USB and 3.5mm jack on the other. Uh, USB will be for power. Obviously, the jack will be for audio. Um, so we'll, I'll connect it up now, um, and then I'll come back and I'll go through some of the things I've figured out on it. But yeah, lovely little display. Right, so I've got the um, audio cable plugged in now. So let's plug in the USB and we'll see if it has any kind of splash screen or anything that it starts up with. Oh, hang on a second, let's see if we can get that. Yeah, there we go. So we just get the AK Tech display. And that looks to me like it's waiting, for it, like it's just got no signal going to it. So let's, let's check the, in, check. yep, so I'm on the headphone socket on my laptop. So let's play some music. Unfortunately, yeah, this is just going to be from Spotify, so there'll be no audio because it would only get... It would only get blocked by YouTube anyway, so... Uh, let's play something, anything. Yeah, there we go. And I must say, it probably doesn't come across so well over the, my phone camera, but the display on this thing is truly excellent. It's really clear. Um, so, yeah, so I'll go through some of the features that I've figured out now. So, starting with the middle button... If you hold that down, it brings you up some. It brings you up some options, so you can choose how long it takes for the thing, you know, for the bars to fall and stuff like that. And you can see the left there. There's the speed of them. And if you if you press the left and right buttons, you can choose the speed. So I will leave that on default for now. And if you press the middle button, you will cycle through the different options, and then yeah, you use left and right to adjust them. And if you want to go back to the to the spectrum analyzer, just hold the middle button again, and there you go. Um, if you want to go through, they've got different they've got different visualizers. So if you go press the side buttons, you can enable them having the peaks. And on here, you can see it's got that thing where they float off into the atmosphere. <laughs> um, or you can have it so it only views the peaks. I'm just going to cycle through them now so you can sort of get an idea of what they look like. Personally for me, I like I I don't like to see the peaks. Um that's a personal thing. I'm very sorry, sorry that this still has the uh, front cellophane on the screen, by the way, but unfortunately I do intend to mount this thing into a box, so that's just staying there to protect the screen for now. Um, if you double tap the left and right buttons, you can increase and decrease the size of the bars. So you see I've just made them wider there. If I double tap that one, I can make them narrower. I like them sort of like that. Um, and yeah, uh, it's just a really nice, neat little thing. Um, oh, another little thing as well, actually, you can adjust, you can in increase and decrease the brightness as well. So if you hold in the left button, you'll see that sweeper come up on the right hand side and you probably can't see my phone camera so well, but you'll see that is lowering the brightness of the display. Then if you hold the right one in, yeah, it brightens the display again. Um... Oh, one thing I would like to do with this, 
um, is I'm going to see if that actually is a spectrum analyzer. As in, if I play a frequency sweep, I'm expecting to see the bar start from the left and move the way across to the right of the display. It'd be an awful pity if it didn't do that. So let's, um, let's have a go at doing that and see how we get on. Okay, so I found a quick YouTube video that just does a quick frequency sweep. And you can see the bars are actually moving from the left and to the right as they should do. So this is going from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. And yeah, you can see that is moving exactly how it should do. Don't worry about that. The sweep that I'm playing actually does slow down towards the end like that. So that is accurate, I would say. But yeah, nice. I can't handle it when, it's, when they're just little stupid bars that bounce all over the place with no correlation to anything. I like to see the actual, it actually, you know, working as a spectrum analyzer. So yeah, that's very nice. Um... Oh, another thing I should mention as well, now that we'll move, well, I'll move on to it now, is how to get this to show levels instead of a spectrum analyzer. And I think you press the middle button three times. Yeah, there you go. So that puts you into DB mode. It's like almost like a VU meter kind of, um, kind of reading. So if I just click play now. And there you go, you can see. And again, it's the same deal on this as well. You can enable peaks and things like that if you want to see the peaks. You can have them shoot off to the right-hand side if you want to. Or you can have them drop back down. Um, again, it's just a personal preference, but for me, I like to just see... I like to just see the actual the actual levels. I don't see... I don't... Yeah, the peaks aren't really particularly useful to me. Um, and then, yeah, if you want to go back to Spectrum Analyzer... Three pushes of the middle button, and it takes you back to it. It really is a great little display, this thing, I think, for the money anyway. Um, and I've just noticed one other clever little thing it's done as well. It's gone into a screensaver mode because I haven't had anything playing into it for a while, so the display was blank. And that's a really clever thing for it to do with it being an OLED display, because otherwise the pixels could potentially burn. Um, so yeah, really nice, neat little unit, this. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed having a look at it with me today. Um, if you've got any questions, um, please pop them in the comments and I will post a link in the video description as well of where I bought this thing from. Um, so yeah, that's it. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Bye for now.